Happy New Year. Happy New Year. If you are here, you made it over to another year to carry on all the great things that you have begun, all the great works you have begun. I pray health and safety and prosperity for your family and that any goals that you may have will be completed this year in the name of Jesus. I am so happy today. I am able to come up and make another video. And I'm pleased to have each of you here. Would you please uh, subscribe to my channel? And would you please like my channel by clicking that uh, thumbs up button that puts me in a higher rank where other people, other new people that likes videos such as this will be able to uh, find me and share it with a friend, share it with someone so I can get those numbers up high and I can get more views, which would give me more motivation to make more videos. Yes, it has been a while since I made a video, about at least two, two and a half weeks. But hey, it was the holidays and I took a break. I want to jump into this here. This is from my favorite food pantry that I like to go to. It's a food pantry that charges you for your items, but you do get some items that are free and it's very inexpensive. Most items are very in inexpensive. I've seen some items there that were, wow, you know, why did you even bother accepting it if you was going to make it higher than a store? But let's start over here. These are Beyond Burger plant-based patties. I've never had these before. Uh, it's 20 grams of protein, of plant protein, which I didn't know plants had protein. I've heard of it before, but I just never really paid it any attention. Uh, attention. So there's two patties in each pack. So I'm going to figure out how to prepare those because it looks like real ground beef, if you ask me. This over here is veggie crumbles. It looks like it has some kind of seasoning to it. It's like a veggie sausage crumble. So I would like to try that. That was, I believe, $1.99 or even 99 cents. And these over here were $1.49 each. I'm not going to remember all the prices as normal. But altogether, I paid $12 and something, which I'll tell you about that at the end. This is kale. It looks like this is meant to be a salad because you see like some carrots in it and the red cabbage. But right now, I'm actually boiling up some meat so I can make this as a vegetable. I could have it throughout the week. Over here, this is a Fredo sauce. This is like a restaurant style Panera bread, a restaurant uh, style Alfredo. And you just open up the bag and you cook it. And a lot of times they receive things from, uh, I will say, the Cheesecake Factory. Uh, probably from Darden restaurants and a lot of places like this. And they're donated. We pay like a dollar or two uh, for a pack. So I thought for, I believe it was like a 99 cents for this pack, that it was very good. The next thing that I have is this Hellog cereal. Now, let me start over here with this one here. This pumpkin spice, I just recently tasted, and I had the box well over a month. It was very, very good. So, this is going to be my evening snacks or a breakfast, but most likely it'll be my evening snacks. And since I enjoyed that so much, I thought I would try the Kellogg's Special K cereal. And if I'm correct, those were $1.49 each. Now, these nutri cake grain bars were $0.79. Cents. I'm trying to cut back on what I've been eating and do a, do it a little bit more healthier, but still enjoy some things. And of course, add plenty of water and start working out. Over here is some more of my syrup, the fat-free syrup. And I've been seeing this right here. It's called Hint. It's a water, so I'm interested in tasting that because I don't mind having salsa waters or fat-free, no sugar water. Since cilantro lime, now I love cilantro and I love lime, so this should be pretty good together. Right here, these are some, it looks like animal crackers. I told the lady, I'm not sure if I, I saw them, a few of them. I wasn't quite sure how much they were or if they were being charged, but she just gave them to me anyway. But over here, all of this bread right here was free. The potato chips, 
they were also free. I have one, two, three, four, five of these little Debbie's uh, snack cakes. And as I look down on the floor, I have some more items. I found another box of these little Debbie muffins. I didn't realize that I had not put all of the bags up there, up on the table. But these were also free too. So I have a son that likes these here. And I perhaps will take some and share them at work. But yes, this is what I received today from the food pantry. The total was $12.43. Here's also another pack of uh, 16 packs of hot dogs, which I'll be sharing with the neighbor. I would like to recognize someone that has given me a lot of inspiration uh, with my food pantry. Uh, uh, hauls, starting, uh, doing videos. Her name is channel is Michelle's Large Family and she does Ruby Pantries where she gets $20 she pays $20 and she gets an awful lot of food so I encourage you guys to go over if you enjoy this you would definitely enjoy hers um, her name is Michelle's Large Family and she does Ruby Pantry um, shopping and she also does uh, different recipes and things like this here and when she goes and do other things for shopping but yes there's one more of these Thomas picks me up I left it in the trunk of my car because I have someone that I'm going to give that to later on the day but I hope you guys find somewhere to save money and to get some great deals in your area thank you for viewing my food pantry haul today I think I did pretty good I went to a food giveaway at a church today and I came away with some good items. Let me just jump into this. I got these corn muffins. I got this bag of rice, but I'm not going to be using it because it's opened. I received a dozen of eggs, large eggs. I got some great northern beans. And I have some pinto beans, which I will in turn take and make up another food package to give away. I thought this was neat over here. These actually come from Wawa. And these items here are frozen. A bagel with egg and cheese. And this one here is a sausage croissant. Over here is a another sausage egg croissant. I guess they're both the same thing. There's a croissant melt, turkey, bacon, and ranch with pepper jack cheese. That sounds really good. And right here, they call it wedding cake. I am going to just taste this and see exactly what it uh, tastes like. But they're good until 5, 6, 21. And I, I think I want to taste these right here just because of the same wedding cake. And it puts your mind of, a, you know, the smell of a, a wedding and the taste of a wedding. And these right here, these were some other giant donuts um, that they had. And then the other day, I got some crackers and a whole bunch of apples. And a whole bunch of oranges that were given to me. So I took them up on it. It was either take them or, you know, they were going to throw away. So I said, hey, I'll pick through what I can and I can use this fruit for myself. Then back over here are some beans. These beans right here is from another food uh, pantry giveaway. Not a food pantry, but a church giveaway. Those are pinto beans. These right here are red kidney beans. And some of these items are items that I've already had or I might have purchased. The wild rice. The reason I'm showing you these items that I've had in my cupboard is because I bought these mason jars. And they have a seal on it. And I want to take it and make some room and preserve some of these beans for a while because it takes me a while to go through it but to be able to preserve it for a while even some years you know it really helps out a lot having things when you need them 
And here's the gallon of milk that I also received. Victoria's Secrets and Bath and Body Works are having a sale right now, and after Christmas sale, I'm not sure if it's semi-annual, but I do know that these here uh, Love Spells Duo gift sets were $16.50 each, but right now they're 50% off, so I got two for $16.50 or $8.25 each. These are hand sanitizers, and this one here is Tropical Palm. Uh, the mango, the mandarin peach. Oh my goodness. It smells so, so good. Coconut jasmine. It's called Solar Bloom. Solar Bloom. And this is the mandarin peach. It is absolutely smells so 
like it tastes good it really smells very good but these here are hand sanitizers so this is something new that they have but now you can purchase them individually for $1.99 or you can buy five for five dollars so this is what I bought today at Victoria's Secrets Bath and Body Works I almost forgot where I was at this time um, each of these items were like about three dollars and twenty six cents each it's hot spring spa uh, bath wash and foam bath it smells really good so I bought the lotion that comes with it and it's part of the aromatherapy line and then over here is the uh, stargazing meditation moisturizer body lotion and it smells really good um, this one in this one here has bergamot some name I can't say it's for is for mine mindfulness and relaxation and this one here is the hot springs and it has eucalyptus in it cedar wood it expires and calms and it clears the mind and so i can imagine what this hot spring body wash and foam bath gonna do once you put it in a nice warm shower um it's the same um as the hot spring spa lotion so those are the items I got. And the total for these items right here were $19 and I believe 26 cents. So that wasn't bad for Bath and Body Works today. I will be most likely going back to get other items. What I did not probably show you was this fresh gardenia. This smells like a fresh gardenia for real. It smells so, so good. So these are the deals that I picked up so far. And this is the way I like to save. I get these items and I keep these and use these. Now this big bottle here will probably take me a whole year to use that. Because I have so many others so I'm not going to use this here all at one time. And the same uh, way with the love spell. Um, I'll use it. I bought two because the bottles were small. So I'll take my time and I'll use it. Plus when you get the lotion with the love spell. The, I mean just the lotion by itself is it smells really good. And last but not least, I wanted to show you these items up here. I bought some canning jars. And it has the sealed lid on the inside. So I thought I would take my rice, which I have two wild rice, one regular white rice. I have some kidney beans and some lima beans. And so for a while, I would not have to purchase any more of those items, but I thought I would take those and put them up for a rainy day, or I just like to have beans and rice uh, sometimes. And this was a great way to save space and to put them up, and I know exactly what I have and how much I have. Thank you all for coming over to Ruby Savings. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming in and looking at my videos. Would you be so kind to subscribe and to share? And of course, like it because I know you love it. You wouldn't be coming back. I appreciate you all. Stay safe. God bless you. And have a wonderful day.